Hi guys! Top Notch Club Football is on hiatus, but football news will never leave you without a dose of daily news. So, click the like button and let's get started! The legendary Luka Modric doesn't plan to retire from the national team of Croatia until Euro 2024. Real Madrid will extend their deal with their title sponsor Emirates. Under the new agreement, Los Blancos will earn a guaranteed 70 million euros annually, with another 10 million euros available depending on club's results. Andriy Shevchenko and Robert Lewandowski met in Warsaw. The legend of AC Milan presented the pole with a captain's armband featuring Ukrainian flag colors, which he will wear at the 2022 World Cup. When the Uruguayan Championship ends, Suarez will leave. That's how we arranged his deal. It's what we agreed and he made a huge effort to come here. I say this to avoid generating fan expectations. Suarez is living, told Nacional President Jose Fuentes. Fifteen clubs are following Shakhtar Donetsk talent Mikhail Modric's progress. The asking price is 45 to 50 million euros. Manuel Neuer missed Germany's first training sessions ahead of September's Nations League fixtures. Gerard Piquet has no plans to hang over his boots yet. He wants to prove to Xavi that he can still bring benefits to the team. I'm only human. It's impossible to walk away from that. I wanted to, but there were question marks in my head. Emotionally, the match against Bayern was the toughest of my life. Robert Lewandowski stated, Barcelona are satisfied with the adaptation of actor Bellerin. The club management wants to start negotiations on the extension of his contract in January. Luca Ding has left the French national team due to injury. He was replaced by Adrien Truffert from Rennes. Red Bull's Outbourg sporting director Christophe Freund remains at the club despite rumors of having an agreement with Chelsea. Today, the legendary former defender of Real Madrid, Juventus and Inter Milan, Fabio Cannavaro will be unveiled as head coach of Serie B side Benevento. Nottingham Forest have taken Bosnian goalkeeper Adnan Kanuric aboard as a free agent. He is the club's 23rd newbie. Nice will offer Mauricio Pochettino to lead the Eaglets instead of Lucien Favre. The Argentine is expected to snub them. Ruben Navish from Wolverhampton and Martin Submandi from Real Sociedad are Barcelona's main options to replace Sergio Busquets in the summer. The loan deal between Lazio and Chelsea for Ethan Ampadu doesn't include any buy option. I don't regret joining Bayern. To be honest, I'm disappointed at lack of game time, because you want to play more, that's normal," Bayern midfielder Ryan Gravenberg said. Real did not go for a new forward in the summer, as the club is confident that Rodrigo will be able to replace Benzema. Lazio coach Maurizio Sarri and Roma manager Jose Mourinho received a suspended one-match ban. I didn't know a move to Chelsea was possible until six hours before the end of the transfer window. In Turin, it's believed that Juventus should win every match with 3-0. I think I'll be happier in England," shared Chelsea rookie Danny Zakaria. Jack Grealish has asked his agent to look for a new team. He is unhappy with his current position at Manchester City. Barcelona are interested in Monaco right-back Vanderson. Eduardo is very happy. He loves Real Madrid. Ancelotti is also a great coach. If you want to be the best player in the world or one of the best, the best thing you can do is to play for Real Madrid," said Jonathan Barnett, Eduardo Camavinga's agent. Matteo Politano left the Italy squad due to an ankle injury. Angel Di Maria was banned for two matches for elbowing an opponent during the game against Monza. Man City and Man United are tracking Arsenal's youngest Premier League player in history, Ethan Nwaneri. Messi's return to Barca could be an option if Barca are open to it. It would be a beautiful and happy ending, Sask Fabregas noted. I will intervene directly in the tactical choices of Monza, giving advice, as I did at Milan. Paladino is a coach that I know well from his time in the lower categories at Monza, and I decided, together with Adriano Giuliani, to put the team in his hands, because, in our opinion, he really deserves it. Monza owner Silvio Berlusconi underlined. Atletico Madrid are plotting to sign Reins and Croatian midfielder Lovra Mayer. The French side demands 60 million euros. Inter and AC Milan decided to entirely demolish San Siro. The new stadium will be ready in 2027. Everyone sees what Lewandowski does on the pitch. He is one of the best. It's an honor to play with him, Pedri said. Pavel Nedved offered to sack Massimiliano Allegri, though the club doesn't want to pay 21 million euros in redundancy fee. I fell in love with the city and with Sampdoria and decided to buy the club. 
We have submitted a proposal and expect to proceed to close the transaction as soon as possible," told Khalid Fali Altani, a member of the Qatari royal family. Leeds United are set to sign new long-term contracts with Jack Harrison, Pascal Strake, and Robin Koch. Arsenal are close to extending the contract of centre-back William Silva until 2027. Arteta considers him an extremely valuable footballer. Moving on to the May Nisa de release. The national team of Russia were excluded from the 2024 European Championship due to military aggression on the territory of Ukraine. UEFA's official statement states that all Russian national teams and clubs are suspended from the competition until further notice. This means that the draw for a selection for Euro 2024, which will take place on October 9th, will take place without Russia. Thomas Tuchel is not included in Juventus' list in case Massimiliano Allegri gets sacked. Turin officials are considering other candidates. Instead, Tuchel will be first on Bayern's list unless Julian Nagelsmann improves the situation and if the Bavarians would need to seek for a new manager. Sergio Ramos got very disappointed with Luis Enrique's decision not to call him up to Spain's roster for September's Nations League games. In a private conversation, the head coach of Furia Roja told Ramos that he did not call Sergio up because the Spaniards have stronger performers for the centre-back position. Enrique will keep on relying solely on the player's shape while making further decisions. A graphic of Kylian Mbappé, Lionel Messi and Neymar's goals and assists at Paris Saint-Germain this season is causing huge controversy online. Eminem are one of the deadiest trios in world football and all three have been outrageous in the opening weeks of the new campaign. Despite that, some are unhappy with Mbappé and believe he's being greedy on the pitch after failing to register a single assist so far this term. That's in comparison to his fellow forwards who have registered eight assists each in all competitions. In fact, Messi has set up Mbappé five times and Neymar three times, while the Brazil international has assisted Mbappé three times and Messi twice. The demands made by Lionel Messi to Barcelona for the extension of the contract in the summer of 2021 have been revealed to the public. Duration – 3 years. Renewal bonus – 10 million euros. Resume the pandemic pay cut with a 3% interest rate. Possibility to leave at any moment for a symbolic loss of 10,000 euros. Private box at the camp now for his own and Luis Suarez's family. Private plane for the whole family during Christmas time. In cases of race taxes, the club have to compensate the difference. And these are the conditions, guys. As it became known, Barcelona could not satisfy them. PSG star Kylian Mbappé has decided to take part in a photo shoot for the French national team, despite yesterday's reports of him refusing to participate in the event due to a dispute over image rights. The federation held a meeting in the presence of Didier Deschamps, captain Hugo Lloris, vice-captain Raphael Varane, and Kylian himself. After a half-hour conversation, the FFF issued a statement confirming that they would reconsider their decision. Xavi has set a new role in the dressing room. No player is above any other because of seniority. He wants to keep Piquet, Busquets and Alba on the bench. According to the coach of Barcelona, Frankie de Jong should be a direct replacement for Busquets in the defensive midfielder role. Xavi also singled out untouchable players. The list includes Pedri, Gavi, Lewandowski, Ter Stegen, Araujo, Koundé and Dembélé. They are all considered essential to his project. And finally, interesting news from Spain. El Chiringuito TV journalist Francios Gallardo claimed that at the end of the current season we may expect something sensational. According to him, PSG can agree to release Kylian Mbappé to Real, but under the condition of Madrid releasing Vinicius Jr. in the opposite direction. Sides may be set to an unbelievable swap deal. Mbappé for Vinicius. Do you believe in such a scenario? Folks, check out suggested videos from our other projects. Have a good time watching. It was Football Nice. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.